Hello my friends, welcome back to A, B, C with Gersh TV. Yay! Hello friends, I am so happy to see you again. How are we doing friends? Are we good? Are we okay? Are we sad? I hope you are good my friends and if you are not good and you're feeling like this or like this by the end of this video you're going to be feeling like this how does that sound friends yay <laughs> yay let's begin the fun so my friends i know in the past videos we have been talking about our senses we've been looking at our ears <laughs> we've been looking at our lips our eyes and our nose and our hands that we use to feel our wonderful ears that are made for us to hear our eyes so we can see our lips so we can speak and taste our nose so we can smell and our hands so we can touch and you know what friends this made me think of a very special song I would like to sing to you it is a beautiful Christian song which actually speaks about most of our senses would you like to hear it I've got a feeling mommy and daddy or auntie and uncle may know this beautiful song and you can learn it with me how does that sound friends yay <laughs> oh let's begin then he gave me eyes so i can see the wonders of the world Without my eyes, I could not see the other boys and girls. He gave me ears so I can hear the wind and rain and sea. I've got to tell it to the world he made me. He gave me lips so I can speak and say what's on my mind. Without my lips I could not sing a single word or line. He made my mind so I can think and choose what I could be. I've got to tell it to the world he made me he gave me hands so i can touch and hold a thousand things without my hands i could not write to help me stretch and bring these feet he made so I could run. He meant me to be free. I've got to tell it to the world. He made me. I've got to tell it to the world. He made me. Friends, how did you find that beautiful song? Yay! Isn't it such a lovely song? It is one of my favourite hymns. I used to listen to that hymn when I was a little girl in school and it fits perfectly with thanking God for our ears, our eyes, our mouth, 
our hands, our brain, our nose. Oh, God created all of it. And what a beautiful song to thank God and to glorify Him. So can we pray to God and thank Him for our wonderful senses, our beautiful features that He created because He made me, He made you, he made us all. Dear God, thank you so, so much for making me, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for making me beautiful, fearfully and wonderfully made. Thank you, Lord God, for all that you have done for us, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, that you have created our ears, our eyes, our nose, mouth, hands, everything. You made us unique and you made me. Thank you, Lord. Now, friends, it is now time to do the biblical alphabet. Yay! I bet you guys know it by now. Do you still want me to sing it with you? Yay! Okay, let's do it. Ah is for apple. Ah ah apple. Ah is for apple. Ah ah apple. B is for Bible. B B Bible. B is for Bible. B B Bible. K is for commandments. K K commandments. K is for commandments. Daniel, da da Daniel. Uh is for earth. Uh uh earth. Uh is for earth. Uh uh earth. F is for fish. F f fish. F is for fish. F f fish. G for Goliath. G g Goliath. G. G, G, Goliath. Ha is for heaven. Ha, ha, heaven. Ha is for heaven. Ha, ha, heaven. I is for Isaac. I, I, Isaac. I is for Isaac. I, I, Isaac. J is for Jesus. J, J, Jesus. J. Is for Jesus, J, J, Jesus. K is for King, K, K, King. K is for King, K, K, King. L is for Lamb, L, L, Lamb. L is for Lamb, L, L, Lamb. M is for Moses. Ma, ma, Moses. Ma is for Moses. Ma, ma, Moses. N is for Noah. N, n, Noah. N is for Noah. N, n, Noah. A is for olive branch. A, a, olive branch. A is for olive branch. A, a, olive branch. For pray, pa pa pray. Pa is for pray, pa pa pray. Qua is for Queen Esther. Qua qua Queen Esther. Qua is for Queen Esther. Qua qua Queen Esther. Ra is for resurrection. Ra ra resurrection. Ra is for resurrection r r resurrection s is for stable s stable s is for stable s stable t is for trinity t t trinity t is for trinity t t trinity up is for up 
rising. Up is for uprising. Up, up, uprising. V is for vibe. V, v, vibe. V is for vibe. V, v, vibe. W is for whale. W, w, whale. W is for whale. W, w, whale. X is for exerxes. X, X, exerxes. X is for exerxes. X, X, exerxes. Y is for yoke. Y, Y, yoke. Y is for yoke. Y, Y, yoke. Z is for Zachariah. Z, Z, Zachariah. Z is for Zachariah. Z, Z, Zachariah. Alphabet? Yeah! I knew you would be able to do it. Well done, my friend! Woo! Now, friends, it is time to look at our very special book. Who can remember? Yes, it is our children's Bible! Enjoying so far, we looked at the story of how the world began, and then we looked at the story of Adam and Eve. Ah, ah, for Adam, and ah, ah, for Earth, and ah, ah, for Eve, and then. We looked at the story of Noah and his ark. N, N for Noah. And then we looked at the story of Abraham and Sarah. So A, A for Adam and A, A for Abraham. the biblical alphabet which of the characters start with yes we've got i i for isaac and r r r which in the biblical alphabet is resurrection but it can also be used for r r rebecca well done friends now Sit back, relax, and let's listen to the story of Isaac and Rebecca. Isaac, the son of Abraham and Sarah, grew up a strong, tall young man. Sarah had died, and Abraham decided it was time. Isaac to have a wife, but it had to be a girl from their own people who lived far away from Canaan. Abraham said to a servant, go to my brother Nahor to choose a wife for Isaac and bring her here. If she doesn't want to come, shall I take Isaac to her? the man. No, Isaac must stay here. God promised this land to my family, said Abraham. She must come and live with us here. The servant began his long journey 
with some other servants, taking ten camels and presents for the girl and her family. At last, he stopped at a well outside the city walls. It was late in the afternoon, and soon the girls could come to the well to fill their water jars. The servant said a prayer to God. Please help me find a wife for Isaac. I'll say to one of the girls, please give me a drink from the water jar. If she says yes, and I will also give water to the camels, let her be the right wife for Isaac. Before he finished his prayer, the servant looked up and saw a beautiful girl walking to the well. After she had filled her jar, he asked her for water. She gave him the jar. After he had a long drink, she filled her jar again and again with water for the camels. The servant knew this was the sign he prayed for. He gave the girl a gold ring and two gold bracelets. Tell me who you are, he said. May we spend the night in your father's house? My name is Rebecca and my grandfather's name is Nahum. We have plenty of room food for your camels, said the girl. The servant thanked God for leading him straight to Abraham's family. Rebecca ran into her house. She told her family about the man she had met at the well and showed them the presents he had given her. Laban, her brother, went back to the well and asked the servant the other men to come to the house. After the camels were fed for the night, everyone sat down to a good meal. But the servant would not start eating until he had told Rebecca's family why he had come. He told them about Abraham and Sarah and their son, Isaac and how he had asked God to help him choose the right girl at the well. Then he asked her family if they would let Rebecca go back to Canine with him to be Isaac's wife. Rebecca's family saw it was the will of God and agreed that Rebecca should go. Abraham's servant gave presents of jewels to Rebecca and presents to her mother and brother. Then they feasted to celebrate the engagement. Abraham's servant wanted to go home at once and Rebecca agreed to go back with him. The next morning, the man loaded up the camels. Rebecca said goodbye to her family and began long journey to Canine. It was evening when at last they reached Abraham's tent. Isaac was out in the fields and saw the camels coming. He went to meet them and the servant told him everything that happened. Isaac looked at the beautiful girl who had come so far to be his bride. He soon married her and he loved her. Wow! What another beautiful story from the Bible. I want you to know that all these amazing characters from the Bible make up one wonderful story that we have to look forward to in our wonderful children's Bible. Friends, I had so much fun with you today, singing, doing the alphabet, 
and yet again looking at a wonderful story from the Bible. I hope you had so much fun with me today. You did so well and also looking at another wonderful story from the Bible. Friends, I hope you're ready to have more fun with me in the next video. Goodbye my friends.